And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Skeletor, give me one more chance. I beg you, don't, don't send me away from Snake Mountain. Silence, you funny fool. I've had it with your whining and bumbling. You're finished here, do you understand? Cast out, vanished. Say, what's this man done anyway? Nothing. Skeletor's had one too many defeats from He-Man, and he's taking it out on poor old Fuzzface. Just be thankful that's not you down there. Your whip, beast man. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, your seat at the council table. Get out! Go! And don't let me see your mangy hide around here again! <sighs> All right, I'll go. But I'll be back. Oh, you will, will you? Yes! I'll show you all the true power of Beast Man. You haven't seen the last of me! All the adjustments are done. <laughs> the attack track's ready for the King's Royal Tour of Eternia. That's great! When do we get started? We don't. The King will be going alone on this tour, accompanied only by me and his mightiest, most courageous warrior. <clears throat> you, Prince Adam? Well, I'm hoping he picks me as his guard. Oh, fair! I want to go, too! I'm real helpful! You can be a big help by staying out of the way. But I won't cause any trouble, I promise. Yikes! Orko, he's trapped inside. Let me out! Voice scan negative. You are not recognized. You are an intruder. Which one is the turn-off switch? I think we need a little help. By the power of Grayskull! What's going on around here, Duncan? We're having some trouble with the attack track, sire, but He-Man is taking care of it. Attack 
track. This is He-Man. Cease all functions immediately. Voice scan positive. He-Man confirmed. All functions cease. Last stop. Everybody out. He-Man. <laughs> You said you wanted to help? Oh, the wizard can help to me! I'm free for him! He-Man! I saw how you rescued Orko. That was very brave. Thank you, sire. I'm just glad that no one got hurt. You do a great service to Eternia, young man. We are proud you are on our side. Thank you, your majesty. <laughs> Oh, you still think you'll be the king's escort, eh? Sure, why not? Well, sometimes he hasn't been too pleased with you. You know, as Adam, I may act like a goof now and then, but, well, that's only to keep my secret. Besides, I'd never really do anything to make my father ashamed of me. Hmm, I hope he knows that. Adam, Duncan, I called you in to tell you that I have made the choice for my honor guard escort. The young man I've selected has won the admiration of myself and our people many times over. He-Man. He-Man? Duncan, you've had great success in summoning He-Man before. Would you please contact him now? Of course, Your Majesty. But, Father, I... Well, I thought you and I might make this trip together. Really, Adam? But you've never shown any interest in state affairs. Sorry, son. I'm afraid on this trip I'll need someone a bit more experienced and reliable. I see. You seem troubled, Adam. How can I help? For a long time, I've had the power of He-Man, but to keep that power a secret, I've had to pretend, you know, to be careless and irresponsible. More than anything, I want to give up that disguise and make my father proud of me. I understand your sorrow, Adam, but you must also recognize the responsibility your power brings. If Skeletor or any of He-Man's other enemies learned your secret, they would not rest until they had destroyed you or the ones you love. Ah, uh, well, I can't endanger my family, but I can make my father respect me without telling him my secret. You must do what you think is right, Adam, but be careful. So, after all those years of service, Skeletor just throws me out. Why, that skull-faced creep! Where does he come off pushing me around? I'm still Beast Man, right? The master of all the animals! Right? You there, Bushtail! Bring me down that fruit and make it snappy! Oh, let's face it, without the power of Snake Mountain behind me, I'm nothing. Huh? What's that? I still think He-Man would have been a better choice for this trip. But Father, I'm going to be king one day. I'll have to learn how to run the kingdom. Just remember, Adam, we're on an important journey. We'll have no time for your antics on this trip. I know, Father. You can count on me. Ah, it's the king. And with no guards, either. Why, if I could capture him, Skeletor would gladly take me back. Come on, you beasts! We've got work to do. What's the first stop, Duncan? The city of Drizdos lies on the other side of this forest. We should be there in a few hours. What's that? Shadow Beasts! They've shorted out our generator! They're defenseless and, and losing power! Stay 
down, Father. I'll handle this. Adam, wait! Come back! This freeze ray will slow them down. Oof! Well, look who's here. It's the cowardly Prince Adam. <laughs> Let us go, Beast Man, or you'll pay for this. Sorry, Prince. It's you who's going to pay if you ever want to see your father a free man. Bring all the gold from the palace to Snake Mountain tonight. Do as I say, or the king will never leave Skeletor's dungeon. <laughs> Let me go! Father! And just so you don't try to follow us, we'll be long gone before that wears off. <laughs> Right this way, your majesty. <laughs> you furry devil, you'll never get away with this. Who's going to stop me? That weakling son of yours? When he shows up tonight, I'll get him and all your gold, too. <laughs> Monster, if you touch one hair on that boy's head. Yeah. Yeah, come on. You've got a date with Skeletor. Intruders! Hold the right world! Put that down, you fool! It's me! What are you doing back here? I've brought Skeletor a little gift. King Randor! Well done, Beast Man. Skeletor is sure to take you back now. Ah, where is the old Skullface, anyway? On a destruction mission out in space. He took the others with him. I got stuck with guard duty. Well, what do you say? We lock up our guests and celebrate my return. Excellent! <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine, but the king... I know. He's Beast Man's prisoner. Why didn't you turn to He-Man, lad? I wanted to show my father that I could be a hero, too. But I failed. Look, son. You were given He-Man's power for a reason. To help others. No one ever said you could use that power to make yourself happy. I know that now. And I know what I have to do. By the power of Grayskull! You stay here and get the attack track rolling again. I think this is one mission He-Man should tackle himself. To be Man, the craftiest of Skeletor's warriors. Next to myself, that is. Actually, I'm surprised you came back, considering the way you were treated. Oh, are you kidding? Old Bonehead couldn't make a move without yours truly. Something. No, that's your imagination. Quit worrying. King Randor, 
Are you in there? I guess not. He Man? Down here. He Man. Praise the sorceress. Quiet, Your Highness. With any luck, I'll have you out of here and back to safety before the others know you're gone. <laughs> then again. The prisoner alarm. The king is escaping. Skeletors have a robots will bring him back. You better let me handle this, sire. What? Did miss a good scrap? I never told Adam or Man at Arms, but I used to be quite a rowdy in my youth. Uh, wouldn't Adam be surprised if he could see me now? Yes, he would. <laughs> I haven't fought like that since I was a boy. Nice to know I still have the old left hook. Beastman didn't hurt my son, did he? No, he's fine. I love that boy, you know. I'm hard on him sometimes, but I hope he knows how much I care. It's hard for a father to say, I love you, to his son. Sometimes it's hard for Adam to say that, too. This way, sire. You go nowhere, fool. You're not spoiling my victory, He-Man. Nice to sneak up on people. Ah, I guess we showed them. Let's go, Your Highness. Adam will be happy to see you. Skeletor? Oh, do you think I care what that bone-faced creep thinks? That arrogant, loudmouth. Oh, if I ever see his ugly face again, it will be too soon. You furry, flea-bitten fool, I'll cover my throne with your hide. Skeletor, I, my, I can explain everything. And so you will, once you clean up this mess. You too, man. Get busy. Well, I hope you're happy, fool. Now we're both in trouble. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of nice to be home. I see the attack track's no worse for wear after our little meeting with the Shadow Beasts. And you're no worse for wear after your encounter with Beast Man. Thanks to He-Man. You could learn a lot from him, Adam. I think I already have. Now, what does that mean? Nothing, Father. I... Do I look like the kind who'd argue with someone with a good left hook? No, I guess not. What? I wonder. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Today, 
Jimmy's story was about love. But a very special kind. It was about the love a parent has for a child. And I bet that's the strongest kind of love there is. Because for one thing, there's just about nothing that can change it. No matter what. Maybe like Adam's father, your parents find it a little difficult to say, I love you. Even so, you can be sure they do. Besides, let me ask you something. When was the last time you said, I love you, to them?